Welcome! In this training module, we'll learn the basics of searching for and entering drug information in the Kroll system. To access the Kroll drug screen, press F5 on the keyboard or click on the F5 drug button on the start screen. A green search screen will appear. Search for a drug using the brand or generic names with the strength and pack size, the DIN, UPC, or the quick code. To search for a drug using the name, type the letters of the brand or generic name and hit the Enter key or click on Search. You can also add a comma and the strength to narrow your search. To search by DIN, enter the drug identification number. A list of drugs matching the search criteria will be displayed. Using the arrow, highlight the desired drug and press Enter. You can also type the line number beside the name and press Enter, or double-click on the drug. If the drug you are looking for is not displayed, press the Control key on your keyboard with the letter A, or click on Advanced. This will allow your search to include inactive drugs in the system, as well as other specific criteria, such as price group, form, manufacturer, or schedule. If you enter search criteria and there are no records found, for example, a message will display indicating such. The Insert button will also become available in order for you to enter a new drug. Let's take a look at the drug information screen for a drug already in the system. In some fields, only one piece of information is entered. Other fields have a list box where more than one piece of information can be entered, for example, comments or groups. These list boxes are differentiated with a name in bold and one underlined letter. There's also a number in brackets to indicate the number of entries, as well as edit, insert, and delete buttons. To access these, you can use the tab key to move from field to field, or use the control key in conjunction with the underlined letter. For example, to access the comments, press the control key and the letter O. Any field with an arrow key to the right has a drop-down menu. Begin typing and the system will try to match the letters to select the option, or click the arrow and select the appropriate option. The name field displays the brand name of the drug. The generic field displays the chemical name of the drug. The description field contains a short description of the physical drug, which can be used on labels or reports. If there is a drug equivalent, it can be entered in this field to be used on labels or reports. A default SIG can be entered here that will apply every time a prescription is filled for this drug, for example, for birth control pills and certain antibiotics. It can be overwritten on the prescription filling screen should you need to enter a different SIG. If there are several generic options for a drug, Priority can be assigned to specific brands in the order of 1, 2, 3, and so on, based on store preference or inventory. If configured, a message can also appear when filling a prescription if the highest interchangeable priority is not selected. The number entered to the right of this box can be specified as DIN, pseudo-DIN, natural product number, homeopathic DIN, or opinion. The drug strength is entered here. The drug schedule is displayed here. Click on the arrow to the right or press the down arrow on the keyboard to view available schedules. Enter oral or written for narcotic drugs. The number of days after which to follow up with the patient can be entered here. The date will appear in the Date section of the prescription filling screen. Additional information such as form, route, manufacturer, handling instructions, drug price groups or fee-for-service types can also be entered. 
If this drug card is used to claim fees for any healthcare services, for example consultations or prescription adaptations, a type can be entered here for reporting and adjudication purposes. The drug can also be flagged for any of the available options on the right by clicking with your mouse to place a check mark. This drug should be marked as reportable if it should be included on a narcotic report. Place a check mark here if this drug is dispensed as a pack, for example, inhalers or birth control pills. This class number is the first data bank or FDB classification of the drug. Drugs can have an unlimited number of comments. Each comment is assigned a topic and is sorted that way. To add a comment, press the insert key on the keyboard or click on the insert button. Select a topic from the drop-down list or type a new one. Each comment has three options. Either click on the option or use the spacebar to check or uncheck them. Show on Rx will display this comment on the prescription filling screen. Print on hard copy will print this comment on the hard copy. If alert is selected, anytime you access this drug card or a prescription is filled for this drug, a window will appear displaying the comment. This comment will also appear in red on the drug profile. Once the information is complete, press Ctrl and the letter S on the keyboard or click on Save. To edit a comment, highlight the appropriate line and press F2 on the keyboard or click on the F2 button. Make any necessary changes and press Ctrl and the letter S on the keyboard or click on Save. To delete a comment, highlight the appropriate line and press the delete key on the keyboard or click on the delete button. Select yes to confirm the deletion. The drug can be included in a group for reporting or dispensing purposes if drug groups have been created in the system. There are tabs of extra information at the bottom of the drug card. The General tab of the Drug Record contains a snapshot of drug information including pack sizes, pricing, on-hand quantities, default vendor, ordering points, and UPCs. When a particular pack is highlighted, the information displayed in this tab refers to that size. To switch between sizes, use the control key with the up and down arrow keys or click on the desired pack size. Most drugs display a picture of the product. Kroll provides regular updates to insert images for new drugs. The Ordering tab contains information and configurations related to drug ordering. This includes available vendor item numbers and whether the reorder points should be based on min-max quantities or day supply. Several UPCs can be added to a drug pack and are useful when the UPC changes due to size or packaging alterations. To add a UPC to a drug, press the Insert key on the keyboard or click on the Insert button. Select UPC for Universal Product Code or GTIN for Global Trade Item Number. Then enter the UPC. Place a checkmark next to default if this is the most common UPC used. The number of packs per case quantity can be entered here. The source field can help you identify the origin of the UPC, for example, user entered or from a supplier catalog. An optional comment can be entered here. Click on Save or press the Control key on your keyboard with the letter S to save the entry. To edit an entry, highlight the line and press the F2 key on the keyboard or click on the F2 button. 
Make any necessary changes and click on Save or press the control key on your keyboard with the letter S. To delete an entry, press the delete key on the keyboard or click on the delete button. Select yes to confirm the deletion. Under the plans tab, pseudodins can be entered for the drug if a third party plan requires a specific pseudodin to be transmitted. This is also where you can set a drug to bill as a pack size or divided by a particular quantity. To add a pseudodin, Press the insert key on the keyboard or click on the insert button. Select the subplan from the drop down list. Select the individual pack size if necessary. Default is the normal description entered, but can be edited if necessary. Here, select the appropriate type from the drop-down list. Now enter the pseudodin. Place a check mark here if the drug is covered. Place a check mark here if this drug should be billed as a pack. If this drug should be divided by a quantity other than the pack size, Uncheck this box and edit the divide by quantity. Press enter or click on OK to save. To edit an entry, highlight the line and press the F2 key on the keyboard or click on the F2 button. Make any necessary changes and click OK to save. To delete an entry, Press the delete key on the keyboard or click on the delete button. Select yes to confirm the deletion. This tab displays the usage for this drug for the pack size highlighted on the left. It can be displayed as a particular year or for a 12 month period. This tab contains information about the last cost change for this drug. Changes for each cost are displayed separately, as well as the user who changed the information. The counseling messages associated with this drug are seen here. These are used for auxiliary labels and are also printed on the label set. To view the remainder of the screen, press the page up or page down keys on the keyboard or use the scroll bar on the right. The information that prints on the Crollcare monograph can be seen here. To view the remainder of the screen, press the page up or page down keys on the keyboard or use the scroll bar on the right. You'll notice that any time a change is made to the drug card, a notification will appear in red on the right hand corner. You can click on Save or press Enter on the keyboard. The notification will now display OK in green to indicate that your changes have been saved. The drug sidebar is available at the right of the screen. These sidebar options allow you to quickly access functions related to the drug with just a click of the mouse. Accessing the Order Drug function from the sidebar will open up the same window as pressing the Place Order button under the Ordering tab. This allows you to add a manual order for the drug. You can initiate a first databank clinical analysis of a drug by selecting the Perform FDB Analysis option. Select your options and then click OK. Results of the analysis will be displayed in the Clinical Reports window. The option to analyze multiple drugs allows you to view interactions between two or more drugs. The analysis is based on the first databank clinical module. Add a drug using the Drug Search Criteria field and then press Enter.
Press Enter to select this drug. Press Enter again to confirm. Add another drug or select Perform Analysis. Select your options and then click OK. The Customize FDB Info option allows you to remove, add, or rearrange the order in which messages appear on the counseling sheets, cruel care, or auxiliary labels. Select the option to print cruel care to print out a drug monograph. The Alerts function shows messages regarding this drug product. The Generic Equivalence function allows you to view a list of generic equivalents for this drug product. This is either maintained by FDB or formulary updates depending on your province. You can also access this screen by pressing Alt and the letter G on your keyboard. The Modification History function calls up read-only data regarding any and all changes made to the drug record. DIN links appear for drug products that have had a DIN change. The Order History function displays read-only information on when the drug product was placed on order and received. Reason codes are used in Ontario for those drug products that are eligible to be billed to ODB using limited use codes. This function allows you to view all codes, descriptions, and expiries for the limited use drug and also to print them. This concludes our drug information module. Thank you.